Hello everyone, welcome to another 10 minutes watercolor tutorial. Today we are going to take a look into a fresh deep forest and paint some of the fern leaves that grow here. Regarding the materials, I list everything down in the description. In case you have more questions, please comment. Ok, we can start. As always, I tape my paper to a piece of hardboard, which will not only prevent my paper from curling, but it will also give me a nice, neat white edge when the tape is removed. I use my pencil to sketch the central stem of each fern. I want them to point into the center of the paper. The fern leaf is sometimes a bit twisted at the end, there is a little spiral and it looks like a cane. Now, I'm not going to sketch those tiny leaves growing out of the stem, but you can definitely do it if you want. I would just suggest where the leaves should be, just a simple line, you don't need to go into details. Regarding the color palette, I want my ferns to feel fresh, so I'm choosing emerald green and Prussian blue, which are nice cool tones, but I'd love some contrasting color as well, and that would be the Naples yellow. First, I use the selected colors and paint the stems. I switch between the colors randomly. And now the fun part. We are going to add these tiny leaves that grow out of the stem. When you look at the picture of a fern leaf, you can see that it is wider at the bottom and uh, it gets narrower as we move to the top. That's because these small leaves, the fern leaf consists of, are tiny at the top and big at the bottom. So that's what we are going to do here. I start at the top of the leaf and draw these tiny leaves. It's just one brush stroke per leaf, nothing complicated. And as I move down the stem, the leaves are getting longer and longer, making the whole fern look wider at the bottom. And again, I switch between colors, I even mix the emerald green and Prussian blue together to get some new tones.
Here I'm going in with the Naples yellow, but make sure you clean your brush in the water properly before changing the color from green to yellow. You don't want your yellow to be looking too muddy and dirty. You can flip the paper if it's more convenient for you as you move to the other part of the painting. In case you are interested in more tutorials, in longer classes and more tips, check out my Skillshare profile where I teach mostly watercolor. Here I feel like one more leaf would be looking good, so I'm adding it now. Nice work! We are almost done. What I like to do, but it's optional, so feel free to skip this, is that I like adding more texture by spattering some color over the painting. 
If you want to try this, then just load your brush with a paint mix, which is fluid enough, and then using another brush, just beat the paint out of the brush to get these nice drops of color. And that's it! All you need to do now is to remove the masking tape and you can see this nice white frame we have here. Guys, I hope you liked this short demonstration and maybe some of you also tried to paint along. Let me know how it went for you and maybe also if you have some ideas for my 10 minutes watercolor videos. Take care, see you next week!